Hi, good morning. Welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. So now that it's cooler, we're definitely feeling that winter is coming. And for us, that means that we also have to do, or I want to do um, a little cleanup in the yurts. Uh, just get all, get everything sweeped, um, get everything dusted, um, because we're gonna spend a lot more time in here over winter, of course. Uh, so I want it to be fairly clean. So it's a spring clean one in fall <laughs> and then we'll hopefully do another one in spring. For now I've just been tidying up everything a little bit, um, getting the clothes a little bit reorganized. Not interesting, whoops, not interesting for you to look at. But now what we're gonna do now is we are gonna take off the shade cloth uh, that we have over our sun roof uh during summer to keep it cooler in here now we can obviously take it off because it's no longer needed and then we can open all the windows properly and start sweeping <laughs> which is what martin is gonna do not me <laughs> So the shading is on there. Martin bought a new letter about which he is very excited. And as you can see, part of this week is also to put new straps on because they all disintegrated this summer. Yeah. Sun is harsh. <laughs> UV. Could you still hold the ladder? Yeah. Oh, we moeten die grote pijp er ook aanzetten, toch? Ja. Waar is die? Dan moet je die pijp aangeven. Oh, die ligt daar. Fly away, my friend. <laughs> nou, ja zeg. Try not to put the sides on the... Hout mag eigenlijk ook wel gedaan worden. Hmm? Dat hout. Ja, dat is wat ik zei. Ja. Oké. Okay. Back into winter mode. Woo. Thanks, Louis. <laughs> okay, next up, rope. Um, as you can see, all but one of the ropes snapped, and they yeah, in like one in one week. So it's they all went at the same time, more or less, and. Uh, uh, I don't want to invest in new straps because they're quite expensive. Uh, these are five euros each, 20 meters. They're P uh, UV protective, uh, protected or resistant. Uh, it will last a month longer than the normal ones. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's try this. And if it doesn't work, uh, we'll still get some straps, but um, yeah. try the, the cheaper version first. Yeah, and I think one of the problems is that it's just very thin, so there's lots of points where it can what in break. Ebo. Um, anyhow, so we're gonna replace all the straps. 
Well, we'll leave the orange one that's already in place. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave this one. And this one's got to go. Uh, they also won't stay orange.
Okay, that's the yurt done, at least the interior. Uh, we put the straps on, uh, on the outside, as you saw, uh, because it's going to be very windy the next couple of days. And then what we still have to do before it really gets to winter winter is that we have to uh, treat the outside canvas again to make it waterproof. And then I think we also need to do the woodwork on uh, the outside of the windows as well as the crown, so the top. Um, but that's for another day. Um, I think we'll just do that all in one go, which is going to be stressful. Anywho. As you can see, the plants very much enjoyed the trim that we gave them and the baking soda worked well. All this new growth is all very healthy and there's some new tomatoes growing. Um, so overall it's a success for now. I do still have some blight, but because it's so much later in the season um, and because we have so many tomatoes, I'm just kind of letting them go and doing whatever. As you can see, we have a storm coming. Um, so it's time to pick all the tomatoes so that they don't burst. I also learned something interesting about sorghum this week. So if you remember, I cut off the heads and now they are regrowing from other points in the stem and they're creating new seeds. And so most of them are doing this. You see it? Um, so we'll have another harvest in a couple of weeks. Ha <laughs> Gotcha! They're molting by the way, that's why they look so scrawny. Okay, hek dicht! Kom! Buk!
Okay, after all that picking, we do also need to plant some things. A couple days ago already, I bought some extra uh, starts, uh, just some different types of cabbages, but then I didn't get around to actually planting them. Uh, but I wanted to buy these so that I'm like another couple weeks ahead of um, what I've already seeded. Yeah. Um, but because it's gonna rain, well, they need to go out because they've they, they've been they've been in the bag for a couple of days. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do them in the bed where we have the zinnias. I'm just gonna plant them in between, and then also in the bed where we had the mustard before. So I'm just gonna clean them up, um, and then just plant them there. Thank you, Elbeck. So I bought these. Um, just a red cabbage. This is, they call it a Christmas cabbage, and some ox white cabbage. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. And I bought a laurel bush, which we'll plant another time. Hi Mel, we're both kijk. Kijk, gaan we zo even graven. Ja, en dan gaan we een gaatje maken. Kijk. En dan gaan we een plantje erin doen. Gaat het plantje groeien en dan kunnen we dit eten straks. Ja. En dan gaat het jou even een beetje aan de kant doen. Woep. Hier komen allemaal nieuwe bloemetjes weer op.
as you can hear it's raining and it's really one of those days where you're like mm, I'm okay with the jumper on but it's still kind of chilly and so I was thinking oh, I'm too lazy to put on the fire uh, but as you saw I just did and I'm already quite happy with my decision because it's so nice and warm both also enjoying it yeah. and now we're just <laughs> gonna continue with folding the laundry yeah <laughs> 